So here in front of me, I have a simple React Native project, which is connected to Redux. There are two buttons, increase and decrease. Clicking on increase will send an increase counter action to our reducer and increase the count by one. And similarly, clicking decrease will decrease the count by one. I'm sure a lot of us have been tempted to always log out the action to check if the action is working. So if we do console.log increase counter, you'll notice when we click on increase, we get an increase counter logged out here. However, in terms of Redux, this would be incorrect because the reducer needs to be a pure function and no side effects or arbitrary code are allowed here. So where do we log this out? That's where the middleware comes in. Though a middleware can do a lot more, this is one of the examples. A middleware will basically run between or in the middle of the action being dispatched and the action being received by the reducer. So let me just walk you through this app quickly. In our app.js here, we have a counter app, which is past the store using provider. The counter app itself is a basic view which contains our UI and is connected to Redux using connect, which is mapping our state, which is the counter to our props. And similarly, we're mapping our action creators to props using the map dispatch to props. Finally, passing in both of them to our counter app. Taking a look at our reducers here, we just have one counter reducer, which takes the increase counter action and the decrease counter action. And though it wasn't required, I've just combined them using the combined reducer. If any of these concepts are unclear to you, you can refer to my previous videos in which I've explained these clearly. Finally, we also have action types, which stores the action types into constants. And then we have our store where we import our root reducer and we export our store. You can find a link to the project files in the description. So let's go ahead and create our first middleware. In the source folder, I'm gonna create a new folder called middleware. Let's create a new file in that and let's call that logger.js. So the syntax of a middleware is what was most confusing to me when I started out. The middleware is a function. So we'll say const logger, which receives an object from the Redux store, which has access to the get state and dispatch methods. In turn, this function returns another function that has access to the next function. And lastly, it returns a function which has access to the action that was dispatched. So get state and dispatch are something you're familiar with. They are methods that are available on the Redux store. Next is something that allows us to run code before and after the action was dispatched and action is nothing but the action that was dispatched. So these are nothing but three functions that are chained together. And this is also known as a curried function. So let's leave it at that. And here let's log out our action. Let's export our logger by saying export default logger. And let's apply this middleware to our store. So let's go to store here. Let's import in our logger middleware from our middleware folder. And to add it to our store, we need to import something known as apply middleware from Redux. Here, as a second parameter, we can say apply middleware and pass in our logger middleware. Now, if we open up our debugger and click on increase, you notice that our action got logged over here. However, this counter did not increase. Coming back to our middleware, that's because we have not passed in this next function. So after we've logged out our action, we need to say next and then pass it our action. So this lets the action pass through our middlewares and go to the reducer. Now, if we save that and try that out again, clicking on increase, we see that it got logged out. And at the same time, our counter increased as well. If we want, we can say console.log action again over here. And you'll notice it gets logged out twice, once before and once after the counter increased. We usually obviously do not write our own middlewares. There's a nice logger middleware available already, which you can directly implement to your store. But this is how you would write one yourself. Now that we're talking about it, let's install a logger that's already available. Open up your terminal and type npm install redux logger. Once that's installed, let's go into our store, comment out our custom logger and import logger middleware from Redux logger. Now, if you open up our debugger and click on increase, we see we're getting a log here with the previous state, the action, 
the next state as well as nice syntax highlighting. So that was an intro on how to use middleware in your Redux application. In the next video, I'll show you how to use asynchronous actions in your Redux application by using the popular middleware Redux Thunk.